Now, Dixon, Norman, Newman, Kimmons, and then Gatlin, Gray, and Cherry. Lane five saw Phil de Rosier pulling out just a, a little while ago. This is Justin Gatlin's first indoor campaign since 2003. He lost on fire in Fayetteville two weeks ago to the world number one, the Jamaican Lerone Clark, but he is in good form, as we know. Finished uh, second to Tell Krim Kimmons in his semi final, 657. There is Kimmons in that to orange top, won his semi in 653. That is his uh, PR as well for the 26 year old from Raymond in Mississippi. And the way he starts, he's a threat in any 60 meter race. Gives a shoulder a kiss for good luck. And with the empty lane in between them, Gatlin and Kimmons face off against the rest of this U.S. men's 60 final. So the field split by that empty lane. Reggie Dixon in one, Josh Norman in two, Kalesion Newman in three, Trell Kimmons in four in the orange there to left of picture. And then Gatlin in the red and black. Third from right in six, Cordero Gray in seven, D'Angelo Cherry in eight. Good start there from Kimmons, really good start. Gatlin's got some chasing to do at the moment. Gatlin coming through, but Kimmons in the lead at the moment. Kimmons going to take it by a short head. Gatlin was coming back at him, but ran out of track. And that's Six the fastest 45. time in the world. Both of them now with the first and equal second fastest time. So finally, this surface and the altitude, that's a huge personal best for Trell Kimmons. And both of them will head to the World Indoor Championships as co-favorites. That was some spectacular running by the two young Americans. Take us through it, Addo. There's Kimmins and Gatlin, center of the track. And I talked about Kimmins and how well he starts, but it's not just about reaction time. It's about where you are and how you're pushing in terms of your angles. Gatlin and Kimmins are two of the best. And look now, as they begin to come up to upright running, they are patient and going from down to up. No big transitions. And it really just was the lean at the tape that got Trail Kimmins his first U.S. indoor title, as well as a big new personal best. And Tim, once you start talking about 6-4 mid, you can start talk talking about 9-8 outdoors in the 100 meters. This is masterful running from both the Americans. Well, that makes uh, Kimmons the fourth fastest equal American ever over 60 meters. Both guys are down with Lewis. All right, Tim, thanks. Well, Trell, you got a chance to look at those replays. What did you see in yourself as you ran to that U.S. Indoor National Championship? I know any time running against people like Gatlin, I have to stay patient in my drive. So I will focus on staying low, driving, and working my transition. And your thoughts on coming